In the world of modern football, few names shine as brightly as Harry Edward Kane. He breaks record after record, yet many people make fun of him. Now he breaks his silence on the critics that bombard him every day on social media and other platforms. In the bustling streets of Walthamstow, London, on July 28, 1993, a future footballing icon was born. Harry Edward Kane entered the world, the second son to Kim and Patrick Kane, a family with a blend of British and Irish heritage, the latter rooted in Galway, Ireland. This mix of cultures imbued in Harry a sense of identity and pride that would accompany him throughout his journey in football. The Kane family relocated to Chingford, providing Harry and his older brother, Charlie, with a nurturing environment for their budding talents. Harry's educational journey began at Larkswood Primary Academy, a place where his early love for football started to take shape, continuing on to Chingford Foundation School, an institution also graced by the presence of David Beckham, another English football legend. From the tender age of six, Harry was already making strides on the football field with Ridgeway Rovers, a local club that served as the first step on his path to greatness. It was here, among his earliest teammates, that Harry's natural affinity for football became evident. The sport was more than a pastime. It was a passion that consumed him, a passion that was nurtured by his family's love for the game. The Canes were ardent supporters of Tottenham Hotspur, embedding in Harry a lifelong loyalty to the club. Just a stone's throw away from their home, Spurs Stadium was a beacon for young Harry, a symbol of dreams and aspirations. His childhood was adorned with the exploits of Teddy Sheringham, a Spurs legend whose prowess in front of goal inspired Harry to dream big. Alongside Sheringham, figures like David Beckham, Jermaine Defoe, and the Brazilian maestro Ronaldo became the subjects of Harry's admiration. His journey commenced in the humble settings of Ridgeway Rovers, a local club where Kane first showcased his budding talent. Here, amidst the grassroots of English football, Kane's natural affinity for the game began to shine through. The environment at Ridgeway Rovers provided him with not just the platform to hone his skills, but also instilled in him a deep love for the sport that would define his career. Despite his evident talent, Kane's path to professional football was not without its hurdles. His early career was marked by a significant setback when he was released from Arsenal's Youth Academy, a moment that tested his resolve and determination. This rejection could have discouraged many young athletes, but for Kane, it served as motivation. He embraced the challenge, viewing it as an opportunity to prove his worth and demonstrate his unwavering commitment to achieving his dream. Signing his first professional contract with Tottenham Hotspur in July 2010 marked the beginning of this journey, but it was his loan spell at Leighton Orient in January 2011 that offered him the first real taste of senior football. Under the guidance of manager Russell Slade, Kane quickly showcased his potential, scoring his first professional goal and ending the season with a commendable tally of five goals in 18 matches. This early success was a harbinger of the heights Kane was destined to reach. Kane's move into the Tottenham first team was a momentous occasion, albeit marked by the challenge of a goalless debut. Yet it wasn't long before he found the back of the net in the UEFA Europa League, signalling the emergence of a new goal-scoring force. His loan move to Millwall in December 2011 further honed his skills and resilience, with Kane playing a pivotal role in the club's escape from relegation, a testament to his impact and potential. The 2012-13 season saw Kane's continued development across loan spells with Norwich City and Leicester City, each stint presenting its unique challenges and learning opportunities. However, it was his return to Tottenham and the trust placed in him by manager Tim Sherwood in April 2014 that set the stage for his breakout. Scoring in consecutive Premier League matches, Kane demonstrated his readiness for the top level, a prelude to a season that would etch his name in Tottenham lore. The 2014-15 season was a defining period for Kane, marked by remarkable achievements including a string of pivotal goals, Premier League Player of the Month awards and a memorable performance against Chelsea that showcased his lethal finishing and innate leadership qualities. His new contract with Tottenham in February 2015 underscored the club's belief in his abilities, a belief he repaid by finishing the season as one of the league's top scorers and being honoured with the PFA Young Player of the Year award. 
Throughout the 2015-2016 to season, Kane's skill for scoring crucial goals, including a hat-trick against AFC Bournemouth and a vital strike against Arsenal, solidified his reputation as Tottenham's go-to man in key moments. His scoring spree culminated in him winning the Premier League Golden Boot, an achievement he mirrored the following season amidst a fiercely competitive league. The 2016-2017 season saw Kane not only replicate his goal-scoring feats, but also step into a leadership role in the absence of Hugo Lloris. Despite suffering from an ankle injury that sidelined him for several weeks, Kane's return was nothing short of triumphant, marking his comeback with a goal against Arsenal. His contract extension in December 2016 underscored Tottenham's commitment to their star striker, who continued to break records, including becoming the club's highest goalscorer in a single Premier League season. Kane's 2017-2018 season was marked by personal milestones and record-breaking performances, including becoming Tottenham's top goalscorer in the Premier League era and scoring his 100th Premier League goal. His dominance in front of goal was recognised with a fourth consecutive inclusion in the PFA Team of the Year. Despite Tottenham's heartbreak in the Champions League final against Liverpool, Kane's contribution to the team's journey to the finale was undeniable. The following seasons saw Kane battle through injuries and speculation around his future. Despite these challenges, he continued to set records, including becoming the first player to score in every Premier League team he faced and breaking the record for most Premier League goals scored away from home. The 2020-2021 season was particularly noteworthy as Kane won both the Golden Boot and the Playmaker of the Season award, a testament to his dual threat capability. The 2021-2022 season unfurled as a chapter of unparalleled achievement. Kane's eye for dramatics shone brightly in a London derby against Chelsea, where his last-minute goal ensured a draw, tying him with Sergio Aguero for the most goals scored for a single Premier League club. This record was soon surpassed in the following match against Wolverhampton Wanderers, marking Kane as the premier goal scorer for a single club in the Premier League's storied history. Yet the real rewards were missing. He did not win any trophies and this bothered him and the fans a lot. People on social media made fun of him and called it the Kane curse. The narrative took a pivotal turn with the transfer saga that began. Kane's desire for a new challenge became obvious following Real Madrid's interest and Bayern Munich's initial rejected bid. The saga culminated in a record-breaking transfer to Bayern Munich. Kane's departure from Tottenham was a blend of gratitude and ambition, marked by a heartfelt farewell video and Tottenham's acknowledgement of his monumental contributions. Kane's move to Bayern Munich not only marked the end of an era at Tottenham, but also heralded a new chapter in his career. As he departed for the Bundesliga, Kane left behind a legacy of records, achievements and unforgettable moments that will forever be etched in the annals of Tottenham Hotspur and Premier League history. Harry Kane's transition to Bayern Munich not only shattered transfer records but also expectations as he seamlessly adapted to the environment of the Bundesliga. Kane's inaugural season with Bayern Munich rapidly evolved into a showcase of his goal-scoring prowess. By August's end, he had netted his first brace for the club, a precursor to a string of record-breaking performances that would redefine his career and Bayern's attacking play. September witnessed Kane scoring his 300th career club goal, a landmark that underscored his elite status among the world's forwards. His Champions League debut for Bayern further amplified his influence as he scored against Manchester United, signalling his intention to leave his mark on European football as well. Kane's goal-scoring feats quickly etched his name into Bundesliga history, breaking records with a veracity that mirrored his early days in the Premier League. His rapid accumulation of goals saw him breaking multiple records, including the most goals by a player in their first five Bundesliga appearances and matching Gerd Müller's venerable record for goal contributions in the opening matches of a season. By the turn of the year, Kane had not only matched, but also surpassed records held by Bundesliga legends, including Robert Lewandowski and Luca Toni, demonstrating his unparalleled goal-scoring ability and his seamless adaptation to German football. His record-breaking spree, punctuated by becoming the top-scoring Englishman in a single Bundesliga season, has not only redefined his career trajectory, 
but also underscored his status as one of the world's premier forwards. The season is still being played, as you may all know, but there is a high possibility that Bayern might not win the National League this year because of the brilliance of Bayern Leverkusen. The Kane curse might be real, people say again in the media. This does not take away Kane's brilliance. He just might be unlucky with the time and place he is in. Harry Kane's international career encapsulates a journey of perseverance, leadership and record-breaking achievements, marking him as one of England's football icons. His journey began in the youth ranks, where despite missing the 2010 UEFA European Under-17 Championship due to illness, his potential was undeniable. Progressing through the Under-19s, Kane played a pivotal role in England, reaching the semi-finals of the 2012 UEFA European Under-19 Championship, hinting at the impactful career that was to follow. Kane's senior debut for England in 2015 was nothing short of a fairy tale. Coming on as a substitute, he scored just 80 seconds later, showcasing his knack for goal scoring on the international stage. This was merely the beginning of his storied career with the senior team, where his leadership qualities would see him assume the captaincy and lead England through significant tournaments, including the 2018 FIFA World Cup and UEFA Euro 2020. The 2018 FIFA World Cup was a defining moment for Kane as he clinched the golden boot, becoming the tournament's top scorer and leading England to their best finish since 1990. This achievement was not just a personal accolade, but a testament to his leadership and ability to inspire his team. Kane's influence continued at UEFA Euro 2020, where he played a crucial role in propelling England to the finals, marking their first major final since 1966, although ending in a heartbreak in the penalty shootout against Italy. Beyond these tournaments, Kane's international career is marked by his remarkable goal-scoring record. He became England's all-time top scorer, surpassing Wayne Rooney's record with fewer games, showcasing not only his lethal finishing ability, but also his consistency at the highest level. His goal against Italy in a UEFA Euro 2024 qualifier, which broke Rooney's record, was a landmark moment, cementing his legacy as one of England's greatest forwards. Harry Kane's personal life is as grounded and admirable as his professional career, rooted in long-term relationships, family values, and a commitment to personal development. Kane's life off the pitch is anchored by his relationship with Katie Goodland, a bond that traces back to their childhood. Their journey together, from school friends to life partners, underlines a story of shared growth and mutual support. Their engagement in 2017, followed by their marriage in 2019, was warmly received by fans and the public, celebrating Kane's personal milestones alongside his professional ones. The couple has welcomed four children, with their family growing alongside Kane's escalating career. The arrival of their children, two daughters followed by two sons, has been shared with the public, offering glimpses into Kane's life as a devoted father. His family life provides a stark, grounding contrast to the high-paced nature of professional football, underscoring the importance he places on his roles off the pitch. Kane's personal interests and lifestyle choices further reflect his dedication to his career and personal well-being. His abstention from alcohol during the football season and the decision to employ a full-time chef speak to his commitment to maintaining peak physical condition. Moreover, his interest in golf and admiration for NFL, particularly Tom Brady, whom Kane cites as an inspiration, reveal a sportsman always looking to learn from the best across disciplines, the establishment of the Harry Kane Foundation in 2022 highlights Kane's commitment to giving back and leveraging his platform for positive change, particularly in the realm of mental health. His involvement in initiatives like CBB's Bedtime Stories to promote the Foundation's goals illustrates his understanding of his influential role and his desire to impact lives positively beyond football. Awarded the MBE in 2019 for his services to football, Kane's recognition extends beyond the football community, celebrating his contributions to sport and society in England. His life, characterised by professional excellence, personal integrity and a commitment to positive societal impact, makes Harry Kane a role model both on and off the field.